they disappear. Talk all the case of beer. What's going on, Cobbers? Tonight, we're going to rank all the cruisers. And to do it, we're going to smash them using the Troy Candy Snorkel. I've already opened them all up to reduce the carbonation a little bit. Make it a bit easier on myself, but to be honest, I'm a pretty shit house at snorkeling, so this could go very badly, but I've already put them in the order that I think they're roughly going to be ranked in. What's this one? Strawberry. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a huge fan of it. Guava. I know is a bit of a an S-tier cruiser, as they say, so we're going to have a crack, Cobbers. Let's see how we go. You just know the first one's going to be bad. Oh. Oh. Carbonated nicely, but we got there. Yeah, the strawberry, it's not very exciting for me. I feel like strawberry is a good milk flavor. Maybe doesn't go down that well as a cruiser flavor. Next one, lemon lime. Oh. That tasted like a bad solo, or well, not even a solo, a lift. Maybe not even a lift, like just home brand bloody lemon soft drink. It, um, that wasn't good. Usually a big fan of the lemon lime flavor, but this time it's not doing it for me. I'm almost tempted to put it below strawberry, to be honest. In fact, you know what? I am. That wasn't great. What do we got here? Watermelon. I think it might be all right. I think it should be better than both of what we have. Yeah, look, all the flavors starting to mix together a bit, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, but I am gonna rank this better than what we've had so far, as expected. So there we have Cobbers. The bottom three at the moment could be subject to change. Next one here, it's Bold Berry. Let's see, let's see. They're starting to have a bit of a weird aftertaste. I'm not sure why. Maybe they're not supposed to all be snorkeled to completely enjoy them, but look, that was all right. Um, in fact, yeah, the flavor kind of adds an extra bit of a sweet tone to it. Um, and it's probably about on, on par with the, the watermelon. Um, yeah, I think, I, I think I'm happy with it there. So far, the only thing we've changed are, are these two. I'd, I didn't think the lemon lime was going to be that bad, and I, it, it, was, it was bad. Um, there's probably some lemon lime fans out there, and I apologize, but you drink shit. All right, Cobbers, next one, the raspberry. I did predict this to be a bit better tasting than the strawberry, so let's see how we go. She's just bubbling up a bit there. Wow. Just seeing if there's, um, yeah. I'm, I'm starting to get that acidic flavor and maybe you wouldn't really taste it if you were drinking them properly, but because I'm smashing them with the snorkel, I am. So, you know what? I actually felt it a fair bit with this one and this could be controversial, all right, Cobbers, but I'm thinking about knocking this one back in the line because... The raspberry flavor is just, it, I mean, most of the flavors in here are probably artificial, but it, it, this felt more artificial than probably, probably the berry. And we've got the watermelon there. 
And I feel like this would probably just like make your lips red. I'm, I'm, not, I'm actually gonna knock this back, I reckon. I'm gonna knock this back to right there. So it's only a little bit better than the strawberry. And I would rather drink watermelon berry than the raspberry. And I'm having no difficulty speaking at all. All right, Cobbers, I'm hoping these are gonna be the goat three. It's actually hard to believe Barry is, not, is fourth right now. I wonder if one of these is gonna get knocked back. How I'm still surviving is uh, quite surprising. These three could tip me over the edge. And in fact, just as I say that, I'm getting a bit of a, you know those, those head glitches, you know, when it's starting to hit you, especially that vodka, right? So let's see how long we can last. This one's uh, pure pineapple. Let's, uh, let's see how it sits in the gut and also on the leaderboard, I suppose, is what it is. Let's smash this pineapple. Let's put this pineapple through the pokies, cobbers. <laughs> let's rip this one out of the Combank ATM. <laughs> Apologies, Cobbers, just had a bit of a change in camera. Sorry if I look a bit strange now. It's not because I'm tipsy at all. Like what, I don't know what would make me tipsy, but you know, it's just the change in camera because the previous camera went flat. So now I've got Bill Zara off his camera. Shout out to him, he films all my parodies. The pineapple was good. The pineapple was really good. And I think it sits in the appropriate position. If I place it in third place, it reminds me of the, uh, the UDL pineapples I used to smash back in the day, back in the year 12 days, when I was uh, not doing much. As, uh, you know, before my YouTube career, I wasn't, there wasn't much going for me, and that was when I was, I was still with Sally, and we're, 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 having a, we're having a great time. Yes, fond, fond memories, those UDL pineapples, yeah. Oh, you thought it was over? Mate, I'm still sober as hell. We've got two cruises to rank still, mate. You thought you thought we were over? No way. Orange and passion fruit holds a dear place in my heart. It's another, it's, is it? No, it's not a UDL flavor. It's the passion fruit UDL. They're, they're the ones I'm a fan of. The red bears, the UDLs. Let's see how this goes down. Orange can be a bit hit and miss for me. Cause sometimes if it is a bit too much of that sour, Flavor might uh, not be as good. What's what's another what's another adjective I can use? What was the one you said before? Tangy. Tangy could be a bit too tangy because I think there is something of a flavor that can be too tangy or zesty. Why are you cringing behind the camera? I don't know why you'd be cringing. Because it's hard to watch. This is hard to watch, yeah. is it? Yeah, it's hard to watch. This is the orange passion fruit snorkel, ladies and gentlemen. There's uh, another one down. Sober is a judge, as your boy Liam Dowling would say. That was nice. That was really nice. It was a, a subtle orange flavor, I'd say. They rained the orange in just so the passion fruit would be let through to, to play its part. So. I reckon that rightly deserves second place. You've got a fairly good idea right now, Cobbers. We're down to the last one. This is like the, the 90th minute in the World Cup match of cruises. We're about to find out who is the <coughs> champion. And I am sober as a judge, so I'm sober enough to be able to judge these effectively. You're seeing a, a beacon of intelligence right now. Ladies and gentlemen, there's one last cruiser. I've snorkeled seven cruises so far. And it's been a pleasure. It's been an absolute pleasure for you to join me on this journey of ranking cruiser flavors. Here we go, one last snorkel for the record. Oh. 
I feel the power of eight cruises in me. All the different flavors. I think I can safely say the guava is indeed the best. Hands down, there's the Troy Candy Snorkel. Here is the ranking. It's the final ranking. Let me read it out to you so you have it firmly ingrained in your minds. At number eight, we have lemon lime, trash. Number seven, strawberry. Number six, raspberry. Then you have watermelon, goes okay. Bold berry, if you're feeling like a berry in this particular moment, take this over the two berries on their own. Then you got the pineapple, goes right. Goes right through the pokers as well. I think that's how I lost Sally. The orange passion fruit, it's good in a UDL. It's good in a cruiser, number two. But the goat cruiser, it's the guava. It's the guava cruiser. All right, Cobbers, thanks for watching. Thanks to my camera person. I'm you proud know. of you, you did well. Thanks. You didn't even vomit. At least someone's proud of me. We're all proud of you. Alright, uh, when should we cut this? Troy Candy Snorkel, it's gone Troy Candy Snorkel, it's gone Troy Candy Snorkel, it's gone Troy.